Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go, and this is not a drill. It, this is one of the most fire APK breakdowns we've had in... Oh, a while. Oh, this is a big one. Mega Raids, Mega Evolution, Mega Quests, oh my. Oh my gosh, and look at that, just look at that Mega Shiny Rayquaza, okay? So, of course, can and will subject to change, all that good stuff. Data mine, always, you know, subject to change, etc., etc. Get into the big stuff. Mega badges. We're going to have two mega badges, one for total mega evolutions and one for unique mega evolutions. So, one for how many Pokemon you mega evolve or how many times you've mega evolved. We'll get into that. And also for unique Pokemon, so there's probably like a cap of whatever. Just kind of... Exactly like the unknown badge, where there's like the unique unknown, and that's where this is going to be. Mega Quest. There's going to be Quest Mega Evolve. Um, there was actually the first mention of it was in regards right after they announced that Dragon Week makeup event. So, will we see possibly, as part of the timed research for that, be tied into Quest for Mega Evolve? I'm so excited. There is a time limit. So, it can... There is a time limit. Or at least, uh, it's temporary. So, Mega Time Text. So, that's going to be interesting. We'll see how that works out. Mega Boost. Mega Same Type Boost. So, these are multipliers. Uh, it looks as though it's going to be like a static multiplier. Not like... Uh, it might not be like exactly like the way we've thought it would be, which is how, like, the games have certain Pokemon get, like, X, Y, Z boost. And this might be just, like, a plat, like, just, uh, across the board, just, like, a, a B, like, just, like, a, a B boost kind of a deal. Uh, so, interesting. We'll see how that turns out. Mega display, so it's gonna have just, you know, some of the how it's going to look, etc. It's going to have its own special title, special background, and a CP color. Similar to how, like, the Best Buddy has its own kind of stuff, and how Lucky Pokemon and Shadow Pokemon have their unique backgrounds. It looks like Mega Pokemon will have their own unique background, CP color, and special title. Mega Background, Pokedex Background. So it looks like in the Pokedex, we'll have a special background for that. We'll see how that goes into play with also if you have a lucky mega so we'll see about that and then mega energy which is very interesting so speculation obviously uh is this going to be like a special like mega energy like mega like blast burn kind of a deal and like you're like when you're raiding or pvp or whatever and you have like you build up energy for like a special mega move or is this like what I think it might be is, like, maybe you Mega Evolve a Pokemon, and, like, the more you use it, kind of like how gyms have motivation, there'll be, like, a Mega Energy. Like, the more you use it, the more the Mega Energy will go down, until eventually it will devolve back into its regular base form. Mega Music. So we'll have special music hype, um, and so there's Mega Raid Lobby Music, and Raid Battle Music, and... Yes, that's right. Mega Raids. There will be Raid levels, and it looks like it's going to be levels 1 through 5, so it looks like we'll be able to encounter Mega Pokemon via Raids. Um, this is going to be kind of interesting, because we also have the Mega Icon for uh, for different Raids and whatnot in the, in the journal. So the interesting thing here is, like, different Pokemon have their different raids. So we'll probably see Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza come through uh, the raid system, along with Mewtwo, Latios, and Latias. Um, I think that's all the mega um, legendary Pokemon that I can think of. But this is a great way to kind of, like, bring those Pokemon back in. It also provides more shiny hunts. I know, again, it's Kyogre and it's Groudon again. But this time they can Mega Evolve into Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon and Mega Rayquaza. And I'm just so hyped. And we're going to be getting into it uh, right around here. There's going to be base bonus. There's a speed bonus. Okay? There's speed bonus Mega Candy. Okay? 
and mega text and all sorts of stuff, but mega candy, okay? There's gonna be mega candy. So this is probably how we evolve, or mega evolve our own Pokemon. Uh, so kind of like how there's rare candy, there's gonna be mega candy now. Uh, so that's gonna be very interesting. It also is gonna be promoting the mega raids and doing these mega raid uh, kind of deals. So that's going to be very interesting. It's also going to give us a lot of access to a lot of mega, like, fully evolved Pokemon. So, like, instead of needing to go out and get a uh, Metadite and then evolve it into a Metachan, you're just going to be able to catch a Metacham, I'm assuming. Um, same with Charizard, Blastoise, Sloppany, Slowbro, all sorts of stuff. Go ahead and check out my mega, my rating mega Pokemon for Pokemon Go, because this is ties directly into that rewarding mega candy which is crazy also the speed bonus it looks like there might be a special thing for beating it quicker so make sure to have maximized counters which is super cool the mega candy there's a whole bunch of stuff from mega candy and here's what it looks like um okay cool it, it looks kind of like a you know there's like cinnamon candies that's what it, that that's what that looks like to me um what are those called? Red Hots? Flaming Hots? I forget. I didn't like them. Um, and then there is going to be temp evolutions are temporary, which is what we kind of thought, you know. But there is going to be te temporary evolution, temporary evolution Mega, Mega X, Mega Y, for the Pokemon that have an X and Y version, Mewtwo and Charizard. Um, Mega Evolve buttons, uh, species, all sorts of stuff, just to make sure that you have Mega Evolutions. Mega Evolution cost. So that's going to be very interesting. There's no indication on what the cost to Mega Evolve will be. It's safe to say that it will use Mega Candies. Is there going to be a Stardust cost? Is there going to be a Buddy limit? What do we do? How much does it cost? I am. How long do we have the Mega Energy for to keep it going? There's going to be some kind of Mega Evolution animation, which is going to be really cool. And it involves spinning of some sort, and then the de-evolution that. It has a poof, kind of like how you run away, a little poof, and go from mega to regular. There's going to be five new characters, or at least one character that shows up five times, and a narrator? So, we might be looking at, uh, who is that? Professor Sycamore? Maybe he comes in, because we saw, did we see Professor Oak? I know we saw him on Twitter. I, I know that he was, he's been referenced quite a few times through the lore of Pokemon Go. But we could see Professor Sycamore, who is the professor from the Gen 6 um, Kalos region. So we could see Professor Sycamore. We could see maybe Professor Oak come back. We could see a couple different things with this. This is very cool. And then new badges. Uh, this is... Now we're getting into some other stuff, but really cool. There is 20 new badges added. So for 20 new events that are going to be during some time, some place, there are 20 badges ready to be turned on, which is very cool. Custom forms. Um, this is most likely mo this is most likely related to the integration with Pokemon Home, which is super cool. And gosh darn it, I want Pokemon Home so badly, so I can just put all my extra shinies into Pokemon Home. Searching, more search stuff. So cool and probably some way to do like mega evolution search yeah click filter mode mega um etc there's gonna be a lot of map updates which is really cool including map want roads create road builder etc so maybe some way to introduce new roads or new buildings into pokemon go which is, would be really cool map displays which is interesting wait are we gonna get satellite? Or, so are you gonna tell me that we're gonna be out in poke? That's gonna put such a. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I like that. On the one hand, though, like when I was in Chicago and I got lost one night, satellite would have helped me. So maybe. And then a whole bunch of stuff for AR updates, which is super cool. Hopefully, AR occlusion is coming in. And then we actually just got a tweet. And wait. Actually, let's go ahead. Oh, that's the wrong one. We just got an update, actually, about this. Um, more gifts are coming to Pokemon Go. That's probably... I keep doing that one. Oop, nope, 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 nope. So that's probably what that is. Item stickers. 
item in inventory. Very cool. PvP syncing. It looks like they're finally fixing the sync, uh, where, like, which has been bugging PvP for a while now. Uh, so it looks like they're actively working on getting things to sync back in together, which is very cool. Lots of stuff in the friend updates, and all sorts of stuff, including being able to swipe through friends instead of needing to click out of one friend, go back into the next friend, click out. It looks like you'll be able to swipe through friends, which is very cool. Um, there was a ability that never got turned on, Niantic Friend Distance Away. Uh, so that's being removed. And then a whole bunch of stuff for ads. Anyway, that's all of this. But oh my gosh, Mega Evolutions, which is so freaking cool. And I'm so mad <laughs> that the next legendary Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go is... It's going to be Heat Rain again. Yeah, you know, let's just go... They just dropped three new things. Heat Ran is coming to Pokemon Go again for like two weeks. I mean, I guess if you didn't, Heat Ran is actually kind of kind of good. Like I've used it in like against Genesect, and it's it's okay. It's a very bulky Fire type Pokemon, which is nice as like an anchor, but um, it's not the coolest. It's kind of okay. It just just here like a few months ago. So, not too thrilled about that. Stickers, the stickers actually look pretty dope. Uh, if we, can we zoom in here? No? No, we can't? Alright. The stickers actually look pretty dope. I like the stickers. They're gonna be, hmm. so we're not gonna talk about that. Um, <laughs> and then the last thing is, apparently there's gonna be another makeup event for GoFest for Australia, New Zealand, and parts of Asia. And that's going to be on Sunday, August 23rd. Um, the features will be Water, Fire, and Friendship. Uh, and the other features will not be active. So that's going to be very, that's interesting. And it is going to be a three-hour event. And it's just going to be for that first time slot. Um, probably because they didn't turn on Unknown G or O for, to be shiny, and they probably got hit with lag, as they normally do. So, that's that's a thing. But, oh my gosh, Mega Evolutions are coming very soon to Pokemon Go with all that text. That is all the stuff that we've needed. That literally means they just need to flip, and it's going to be done. I think they do need to insert the assets still, like Mega Charizard... X, Y, all their assets, like the actual sprites, but that can literally be done with like one click and then done. They're good to go. So I am super excited about that. If you are, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, I do have a brand new Discord server and that is going to be in the link as well. That's going to be linked into the description below as well. And man, oh man, am I excited to do a whole bunch of stuff on the Discord server. But yeah, if you did like this episode, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless and see you in another episode of Pokemon Go.